Okay. So now I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, I've worked around and I've slip stitched to join. And now you can just remove these markers. Just chain one and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around for two rows. So single crochet all the way around the opening and slip stitch to join. Okay, I've worked another row. So I have two rows of single crochet all the way around for the ankle section. And now I want the boot to get a little bit larger. So I'm going to make two single crochets in every third stitch around. Chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets. One, two. I'll repeat that all the way around the opening. Okay, I finished that row and at the end of the row I slip stitched to join. Now I'm going to make one row of just single crochet in each stitch. So I'm going to chain one, turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I've completed that row and now I'm just going to chain one and turn and I'm going to make one more row of just single crochet in every stitch around. I'm going to fasten off and then I'm going to attach the turquoise and make one row of single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, I've worked all the way around with one more row of single crochets. I've fastened off, I attached my contrasting color and I have single crocheted all the way around and now I'm going to fasten off. And there's how the little boot looks. Now this is optional. You can choose to do this or not. But if you want to, you can attach the contrasting color yarn in the back stitch of the heel, chain one. And then following that row of stitches all the way around the edge, single crochet in each stitch around. So you can see it's very easy to find the stitch like that. You can work all the way around. Okay, like that. I've just worked all the way around, slip stitch to join, and fasten off. Now weave all these yarn ends into the finished work. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the star that's going to be attached on the side. Chain five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the third stitch from the hook, one, two, three. Double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the ring. So you have made one point of the star. You're going to repeat that to make four more points. Chain four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, single crochet in the third stitch from the hook, double crochet in the last stitch, single crochet in the ring. Do that three more times. Okay, when you've made the last point, you're going to slip stitch to join in this very first stitch. Fasten off. If you fasten off with a long yarn end, you can use the yarn end to sew the star on the side of the boots. And there's what the boot looks like with the star attached. For girls, if you'd like, you can just add a couple of little flowers here at the front as well. Or you could add flowers here. To make the flower, chain five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain five, single crochet in the ring, chain five, single crochet in the ring. You have two petals. I'm going to chain five, single crochet in the ring to make five petals. If you like, you can make six petals in the ring. 